Hey, Rockford Chick here. Today I'm joined by Sarah with The Pickin' Chicks. How's it going, Sarah? Good, how are you? Doing fantastic. So we are inside your giant warehouse right yes. now where there's a bunch of activity in the back of Pickin' Chicks, getting things picked and ready. But uh, for those that are not familiar with you, tell me a little bit about your business. Sure. Uh, we are an estate sale company, typically. Uh, we go into people's homes and provide them with estate sale services. We uh, stage, mark, price, everything, and then we hold a sale in your home. Um, the purpose of our warehouse is for those who can't have a sale, maybe live in a condo or an apartment um, and are not allowed to have sales there or just have a few things they want to get rid of and maybe are moving, just trying to downsize. So we hold them in our warehouse here. Um, we typically hold these every other month. Uh, and currently we, our next one is in April and we're already kind of filling up for that. So we have space available in June. Nice. Um, Otherwise, we are in people's homes, condos, places that, that they are moving. There's uh, an estate that needs to be settled with family members or, um, you know, they're just simply downsizing. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, tell me a little bit about kind of like what inspired you to start the Pick and Checks. Like, how did you get into this? Um, sure. Uh, I got into this because I was an avid garage sailor, picker. Uh, I repurposed furniture. Um, ever since my kids were small, they've enjoyed going and treasure hunting. Yeah, it's kind of the thrill of the hunt, but, uh, I started repurposing furniture and painting furniture and doing things for people. And they'd say, Hey, I need a hutch or Hey, I need a this. So I would go to estate sales and search out those items. Um, but after visiting several, I'm like, why can't I be doing this myself? Sure. Um, yeah. And seven years later, here we are. And, um, I started out with myself and one other person and, um, now we are currently booked until June, so it's, wow. we're doing something right. Yeah, that's awesome. And, yeah. um, that is crazy. So like it literally just started like you and a, and a friend basically, right? Like, myself and my daughter. And your uh, daughter. Yeah. Okay. So started picking furniture and doing things. And then myself and a good friend, um, actually her, um, we had another friend's mother who needed to go into assisted living and she said, Hey, you guys are good at this stuff. Can you help me? do a garage sale and we kind of said well she's got enough stuff let's do it in the house and it kind of then people started asking me if i had a business card if they could call me and i then knew it probably should turn into a business <laughs> wow so, yeah yeah so. that's super cool and you said that was seven years ago now yes 2014 we started wow so. congratulations Thank like you. that's a really big mile marker yeah yeah and so for people that are out there watching the video that uh, want to come to your event here in April or if they have uh, estate sale needs, like how do they get a hold of you? Like what's the best place for people to follow you and get in touch? Sure. Um, on our Facebook page, which is just the Pick and Chicks, um, and we post all of our sales there. We also do fun little videos. I will walk through and show you items. Um, we have a website, which is just thepickandchicks.com, or you can call us at 815-979-5057. Um, and get in touch with us. Um, we are open by appointment here. Otherwise, typically we have sales, like I said, every other month uh, in the warehouse. So. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Sarah, for taking the time to get together and chat. And thank you, Rockford, for tuning in. Uh, like Sarah said, you can head on over to their Facebook page or their website to get all the information on all of their estate sales going around here in the 815. I just want to give a real quick shout out to all of our business sponsors and our backers that make content like this possible. It's because of their support I'm able to highlight local businesses and talk to amazing people like Sarah here and bring all this positive news from the 815 to you for free through the power of the internet. So thank you so much to them and we will catch you on the flip side. Bye record.